Since 2014, the Billiard Channel has covered some of the best matches, articles, and events. Now we broadcast snooker, billiards, and pool. So stay tuned for some of the best matches, event coverage, and exciting shows. Subscribe to our YouTube channel now to get the latest content and check us out at InsidePoolMag.com for more information. Inside Pool Magazine welcomes you to an exciting remastered match between Efren Reyes and Thorsten Homan at the 2013 Diamond 10 Ball Championships. Efren has a long-standing career of wins, including notable 2014 Derby City Classic One Pocket and the recent 2019 Junior Norris Memorial Shootout. Thorsten has many championships as well, including the 2013 WPA World Nine Ball Championship, and he is also the 2015 World 14.1 Tournament Champion. Let's watch these great players in action. All right, my friends, we're live. I want to welcome you to the Super Billiards Expo. Efren Reyes versus Torsten Homan. Sponsors are OBQs, NYCGrind.com, the co-production with Inside Pool. Kamui Tips and Chalk. So... Hang in there while we get the rest of the streams rolling and the different cameras, and uh, enjoy enjoy watching your match.
Testing one two. Testing one two. Can we have a quick audio check, please? Audio good. Okay, guys, I just noticed I had to scroll down on the chat. Thank you so much for the feedback. Well, good afternoon. If you're on the East Coast. Austin Holman versus Efren Reyes is here for the opening match. Scores two to two. Uh, we'd like to welcome everybody. If you just joined the stream, this is a race to eight, and it's the best out of three sets. So you got a lot of pool ahead, and two great players to watch. Austin Hallman with the kick safe, perfectly played. And not a magician might show us some of his work. Let's see what Efren can figure out, unless he decides to lock the 3 5 up. And that's what he decided to do. Austin Holman's a great straight pool player and looks like he might elect to draw back on this with a straw draw and may possibly just nudge the five to bounce the three out or play back for a three rail safe sticking the cue ball behind the five. Let's see what Torsten wants to do here. See if he draws back past the nine and gets a good angle on that three. He can elect to uh, fire at the three, stopping the cue ball where the three is, and playing the three ball out three rails for a safe. He elected to bounce it out. It was a risky shot. But nevertheless, worked out good. And he's got the angle to get to the four.
Great shot by Efren Reyes. That shot's hard to come with. Using a couple of the short rails. Winds up perfect on a six. Just go one rail back for the eight. Efren decides to play two rails. The eight ball into the side pocket. Well, Efren let the cue ball get away. Still a makeable shot. He wanted to be a little straighter in on a nine ball. Now he's just got to cut the nine down the rail. Now he's on the 50 yard line with the 10 ball. Just gets down and strokes it like it's, he's in perfect position. And makes a 10 ball. Efren Reyes now leads this race to eight, three to two over Thorsten Holman.
Hey, you can see Jennifer Breda sitting in the background with Greg McAndrews right there beside her. Uh, a packed house here at the arena. One of the new features, if you're just joining us here at the Super Billiard Expo 2013, is Alan Hopkin uh, made it inclusive. So uh, you pay one entry fee to get in to the expo, and you can view any one of the uh, pro events going on, plus the amateurs. Where uh, last year and years past, you would have to pay your entry to get into the expo, plus your entry to the Pro 10 ball. Now you don't have to pay any extra fees and it's a packed house. I got here about 9.30 this morning and you're lucky you can find a, a parking spot in the lot. I mean, there's plenty of way in the back. I just didn't feel like walking that far. And I, it was packed already. And what a beautiful day. It feels like it's about 60 degrees outside. Plan on coming down to the expo. Today is really a great day to do it. Um, there's there's bleacher seats on. Both sides of the arena, uh, hundreds of seats. And uh, as we move along with the stream, we will have different camera angles plus cameras on different tables so that we can switch over and watch other matches if, when this one ends. So Alvin Nelson is working on that right now. And I'm upstate Al sitting in the booth just Keeping you company. Wow. You know, a shot like that, Torsten being jacked up on the six, just trying to drag the cue ball down for the seven, wound up missing the six ball. And Efren Reyes here is going to make Torsten pay for that mistake. Let's see if he can draw this cue ball back. Watch the cue ball. Uh-oh. Can't shoot those 10 ball. Efren knew it as soon as he hit it. You can see him laughing. He, that's one thing about Efren. As many years as you watch him, you know, he laughs things off. And with that crucial mistake, is we're now tied at three apiece.
see the match a little bit to your right is Ryan McCreesh, and he's playing Jason Ashur from Scotland. Uh, Efren's not known for a, a strong break. And everybody knows that, but somehow he just snaps tournaments off. Efren coming up dry on the break. I'm going to look for, if, if Thorsten can see this, uh, this one ball clear, I'm going to look for him to stick the cue ball right there. Maybe nudge the eight ball with the one ball, pushing the one ball down a little bit, uh, leaving the cue there. Unless he's uh, thinking about cutting it in. I can't tell from this angle. He might be able to cut that one right down the rail into the right-hand corner of your monitor. Who hits him better than that, my friends? <laughs> Efren Reyes. He's undecided if he wants to play this down into the corner pocket or play it into the side pocket, which is a little more difficult, but I think down the corner is better odds. He can get the same position for the four, leaving himself an angle to go down for the five. This is really a great treat here, folks, uh, having these two world champions on a free stream and uh, just as a reminder we would like to thank some of the sponsors uh, Kamui Tips and Chalk that's KamuiTips.com OBQs OBQs.com and make sure you check out the bank shot calculator and you are watching this free stream that is being co-produced by InsidePoolMag.com and nycgrind.com. Jerry Talentor and Allison Fisher and crew. They're also here and have a booth. Uh, there's, uh, I was talking to Alan Hopkins Sr. and he said he has about 10 or 11 more vendors uh, signed up for this one and it's really nice. Nice layout. Big difference from last year. Wide open place. Pretty good. as Efren plays for the eight ball bank into the side pocket. Misses the bank shot, but notice the cue ball position way down the other side of the table and it looks like the nine is right in the line of fire uh, we have uh, one of the chatters in the chat room nine rock good morning enjoying your coffee and watching the high def stream enjoy it i know i am i'm watching it on a high def monitor here at the inside pool broadcasting booths and uh, i'm watching just the way you are And uh, inside pool and Alvin Nelson, the man behind the scenes, running all the equipment, is still working. He said that he's going to have three more cameras hooked up 
it's just a matter of time. There's so many people in here. Um, it's hard for him to get around and, and fish wires underneath the bleachers. So he's trying right now. And I hope he gets them up as soon as possible. There's Mr. Joe Tucker passing by. Yeah, there's so many people uh, here. You see so many familiar faces um, within these uh, spectators walking by. And the pool world is that small. As we watch Torsten break in game eight. Nine ball almost went into the side pocket. Watch the one and the two dropped and the seven hangs up and the three follows. So Thorsten will be shooting at the four ball and from here it doesn't appear to have a clean shot. You might see him slow roll this or elect to push out. The scoreboard uh, is uh, up at the left-hand side of your monitor. You can see there's a red four and three. And beside those scoreboards are the names of the players. Uh, you might not be able to make them out, but uh, the names are there. So Torsten uh, elects to push out. Efren's probably going to bounce the four off the eight and leave the cue ball there. And that's what he did. Uh, I don't know if he has enough cover to protect the, uh, the line of view to the four ball. It looks like he might have left a little piece of it. And you can see Francisco Bustamante sitting there in a the chair right next to the number four. Efren cuts it in with no problem, but he let the cue ball get away. He's either faced with back cutting this five into the left hand corner or playing it into the seven. I'm not sure if the seven is lined up. I think it will see him back cut this ball into the bottom left hand corner. Because he comes out natural for the six on the side. Unfortunately, he clipped the seven, but he still has the shot into the side pocket. No problem. He should be able to go right up and down the table. I'm back for the seven ball. It's exactly what he does. He can elect to draw back off of the seven for the eight or go forward and just go two rails and come back out, leaving himself an angle. Depends how he feels. Two rails, right back out. 
got to leave an angle so you can get back across the table. Draw this back up. And he doesn't want to be straight in on this nine. He wants the angle to get back on the ten and shoot it into the same pocket or shoot it into the opposite corner. Depending on how he winds up on his position. He might elect to stop it right there and shoot the ten in the opposite corner. Or bounce out and play to one pocket. There he is. So there you have it. The magician, Efren Reyes, Bata. So many nicknames. The guy's uh, Gentleman Jim. Always fun to uh, be around. Goes up another game, and I believe he's going to lead this match 5-3 to three over Torsten. So it's 5-3 to three in favor of Efren Reyes. Uh, if you're just joining the Super Billiard Expo stream, the players are playing a race to eight. And it's the best out of three sets. Sarfran pockets a ball. But has no shot on the one. You're going to see him roll out. I'm, if you're tossed and home, and you got to give this back to Efren. I mean, here you are, jacked up over the two ball. You got to back cut this one into the right hand corner. If you make it, you get position. Of course, the two, in the position of the two where it is. But I'm not taking this chance. I I'm giving this right back to Efren Reyes. Austin might be looking at a safe, playing a safe here. He might see something that he likes. It's what he elects to do, and that didn't work out. And now he has left Efren a shot. If Efren has enough sight on this one to cut it into the side, that's what he'll do instead of playing the one-two combination. If he doesn't have enough sight, he will play this one-two combination. A little risky. Let's see if he's going to cut it in or play the one-two. Played the one-two punch. It's a little risky here. And now he's faced with a one-three. And this is no gimme either. Going to try to hold the cue ball. Nice shot. Okay, he's, the only thing he's got to deal with is the uh, seven and the six ball. Uh, now, whether the seven ball is a billiard off the six into the side pocket, I'm sure he's going to take a look at that right now. He doesn't have to touch it, but at some point, if he doesn't have a billiard, he's going to elect to uh, just nudge that six ball, and he might even try it here. Okay, he might have the billiard. The billiard might be on.
Now he is in position where he can run into it. But he's got to make sure he doesn't hit the lower part of that seven ball because he has a chance of going in the drink. Let's see what Efren does here. There's that smile. When he does something wrong, he smiles. He laughs. Not wrong, but, you know, it doesn't come out the way he wants. I, I thought he hit the shot great. Just uh, was unfortunate not to get a roll where he has a shot. Is he actually thinking about banking this six ball? No. Cutting it down the rail? Don't blink, folks. Cut it straight down the rail. That's what he was concerned about. He was concerned about the cue ball bouncing back and forth and wound up going in the side pocket. What a shame. Great shot. Torsten Holman coming to the table. He's got to start shooting here. You know, you're playing uh, Efren Reyes, and he's leading 5-3. to three. It's time to uh, put your foot down on that gas pedal with only uh, three balls left. We should see a five to four match. Bada bing, five to four. Dawson Holman reaching the midway point in this race to eight, and Efren just one game ahead. And that's the tournament director, Doug Innes, uh, making the announcement to please do not use flash photography. You know, there are new people, uh, um, as it should be, and hopefully more people do get into uh, pool and billiards. So you have to remind them that uh, not to use the flash photography. Do I know the score of uh, somebody in the chat is asking me if I know the score of Jason? Jason's match um, you know what I'm gonna mute my headset over here and I'm gonna see if I can kind of get a visual on that I'll be right back at you All right, the score of Jason Shore's match. Jason just won the first set, 
eight to four and Ryan McCreesh decided to take his break. Very welcome. Uh, it was really no effort at all. Uh, I had one of the spectators in the bleachers uh, let me know the score. Glad I can help. All right. Meanwhile, back at this ranch here on the stream table, Torsten Holman about to tie this one up at five apiece. All right, Efren elects to push out. I don't think Torsten is even going to move to the table. He just sat right back down. He said, go ahead. Show me some of that magic. Mm -hmm. Efren left himself in a difficult push out. Great hit, but he has visual on the one. Good morning, B-Doc, or good day, good afternoon. To me, uh, it's morning, evening, and whatever else is included. And we'd like to uh, thank everyone uh, that's viewing the stream. And if you can show your support, uh, it's a very simple way of doing it uh, by sharing, hitting the share button and sharing the live stream on all social medias to show a little appreciation to Inside Pool and NYC Grind and all the sponsors involved. It would be greatly appreciated on this end. Uh, meanwhile, you let all your friends know about this uh, great matchup right now.
All right, so we're, uh, we're at the speed limit 55. And I don't see any problem here. Every ball has a pocket. In any other situation, uh, watching Torsten play any champion, he, uh, he gets out. And I think it's uh, fine to say at this point that uh, Torsten Holman will get out this rack. He thought he hit that a little slower and he was going to be safe behind the five. But uh, he got fortunate. It rolled. So he's right back in position. The Terminator. Toasty. How many nicknames did Thorsten Holman have? The Hitman. Then there was uh, Raj Hondel, the original hitman. So many different nicknames. You're going to see him draw this back to the rail and then back out. Put a 10. And I don't think I went too far out on the wire by saying he was going to win that game. Dawson Holman now leads this race to eight, six to five over Efren Reyes. You know, I'm just glancing down the vendor's aisle, sort of like vendor's row here. And um, you can't see down the aisle. I mean, it's just wall-to-wall -wall people. It's great to see uh, everyone come out. Oh, the two ball was going, the three ball looked like it was going, but two, four, six, eight, ten, nothing dropping. Dawson coming up dry. You know, as I sit here and, as, and I watch Efren, you know, it, it just looks like everything is so effortlessly, you know, like, uh, I just woke up, let me hit a couple of balls and run a few racks of rotation. Many years ago, I would say a good 23, 24 years ago, Efren Reyes was at West End Billiards in New Jersey on one of the tight box, triple shimmed, not West End, sorry, Castle Billiards in New Jersey. And he ran a complete rack of 15 balls wrote in rotation, right-handed, on a triple shim. And then he re-racked and ran them left-handed in rotation. Guy's just amazing. And as I watch him, you know, he doesn't look like he changed at all. I mean, you know, obviously he's aging. Everybody is, too. But he just... just <laughs> God bless him. And as I say, I, I, I really appreciate his game. He entertained me for many years. Well, he didn't get all the way down table, but uh, still a makeable 10 ball. 
this will tie this match at six. You know, we're nipping and tucking. Somebody's looking to win this first set and wants to do it. And if Efren didn't miss that 10 ball before, he would have been up a couple of games. But nevertheless, makes that one and ties this back up at six. Four balls, a cliffhanger. And Efren comes up dry, leaving an open table for uh, Thorsten Holman. All Thorsten Holman actually has to do right here is just stop the cue ball, almost getting straight on the two into the upper left-hand corner and follow the two ball up for the three. That's... Uh, that's well he decides to draw back and come two rails to get straight on the two ball I guess he had more of an angle than I actually seen from here He's concerned here, uh, and what he's concerned about is coming back off the four ball for the five. So he's got to get the right angle on the four ball. So he elected to play tight to the lower rail, the short rail, and just spin out. And, but now he's got to be careful, too. He doesn't want to get himself locked up behind the six ball. So he's got a, a little window. He's better off playing to the left side of the six ball and cutting the five right in. And that's what I think we're going to see him do. Well, he threaded the needle, and he might be jacked up over the six. Cue ball rolled a little. F no, he should be okay. I think he's got a clean shot. He shook his head in disgust because he's got to use the rake. He could have. He could have played a little slower speed and wound up cutting a five into the left hand corner where he's playing it. And now he has to find another path. Just draw back to the rail, shoot the seven down into the corner. from here we're gonna see Thorsten Holman reaching the hill first there you have it Thorsten Holman now leads this match seven to six over the great magician Efren Reyes
So now we got one exciting match. Thorsten Holman on the hill. Efren Reyes can't wait to get out of the seat. Look at him. He's itching, isn't he? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes if you ever get a chance and, you got, and you're watching Efren Reyes live in person and uh, if he happens to stand up and hold on to his cue stick, you know, he gets so comfortable like he's leaning against a pole, a light pole or something, you know, and just relaxing. Uh, well, Thorsten Holman goes into the drink after pocketing three balls on the break. So Efren's playing six ball from here. You know, Keith McCready in a position like this, if somebody would break... Uh, let's say and make three balls and leave the table like this Keith Keith would just stand up and say gin automatically you know uh, in his prime he was just out and Efren should be out too At one uh, point during uh, today's events, I'll either go by and take some snapshots of the updated brackets and uh, we'll have somebody post it. But there are a lot of spectators here doing uh, some posting of the brackets. I just, if you do some searches uh, on AZ Billiards or uh, InsightPoolMag.com, I'm sure that you're going to find a link there. But we will get some pitches up there sooner or later. Uh, we'll, we will have some pitches up there. And the brackets are updated. There you have J.R. Calvin himself inside Pool Mag. As we watch this Hill Hill match, tied at seven, folks. If you're just joining us, this is a race to eight. See if Efren makes a ball. Ten ball drifting. I don't know what happened to that three ball. Oh, the three ball still on the table, so Efren come up dry. From my point of view, looking down at this shot on the monitor, it almost looks like this 110 is on, but I don't think Toasty is going to play the 110 combination. Even though he might, you know, just straight pool player, but he's known like the other professionals just to go for the run out. You know, he's, he's got a lot of work to do here. It, this, this isn't a guaranteed out by far. He's got the uh, six, the five, six to contend with. Nevertheless, the angle that he just created for himself, he overran it just a little bit. But he can, he can get out, but it's, there's work involved. And being Hill Hill, I think anybody in a position playing uh, 
one of these top-notch players and being in a Hill Hill match start to make it a little more difficult as you can see now Thorsten's faced with cutting this into the corner pocket um, you know so the pressure amounts the adrenaline starts pumping and you can get careless uh, you, you have to stay calm uh, approach the table the same way and these guys do it the best Now, from the monitor I'm looking at, it doesn't look like he has the cut shot into the corner pocket. I can't really tell. He's looking up at the sky. He might have to bank this five ball. Now, he can play a two-way shot here. He can play the bank on the five and lock the cue ball up behind the six, nine. And if the five does drop, still have the shot on the six. So it's kind of a two-way shot. You might see him play the cue ball. Now, Thinking about the position of the cue ball going behind the 6-9 might throw his shot off, so he's got to watch. Okay, he played the cue ball up by the 6-9 and made the 5, so he made it. All he has to do now is just roll the 6 ball into the corner pocket, accept the long shot on the 7, don't try to do anything fancy, and just get out and take the first set. Mr. Danny Hydrick's here. Hey, Dan, the name of your set website is Dan Hydrick Hughes, isn't it? Let me, let me read one of your cards. You know, Dan's been around for many years, and we're going give, to give him a plug here as we have a lot of viewers on stream. Okay, it is Hydrick Custom Cues. It's www.heid. R I C H custom cues.com. He's been around for many years. So Dan Hydrick, custom cues. As Mr. Ron Park uh, in the chat comes in and say hi to Dan. Dan has just walked away, uh, Ronnie. Sorry about that. Okay, Thorsten on the hill. Efren on the hill. Thorsten faced with this nine ball. Slams it into the corner pocket like it had eyes. Winds up perfect on the ten ball. What a great shot. You have to come with that on the hill. Hill, nice out. There you have it. Thorsten Holman takes the first set against the magician Efren Reyes. We're in for some heavy duty action now. And it's a good time to take a break. And I believe Efren has. And since Efren's gonna take a break, I gotta take a quick break, folks. I'll be right back at you. I just wanna take a look at some of the other matches. If I can, I'll try to grab some of the scores. Um, I can't guarantee anything. Ah, funny, funny, funniness, happiness, smiles, laughter. 
We are here at the Super Billiards Expo 2013. Inside Pool and NYC Grind co-production. The Allen Hopkins extravaganza. We also have the three cushion billiard channel going. The stream in the three cushion room. And pretty soon we'll have the pool cube Pool cube stream happening. What's going on out there, chatters? Well, we're back live as the players uh, enter the arena. I have a couple of table updates. Uh, Bustamante's ahead 3-1 to one over Kevin Clark right now in that set. And Jason Shore is up 4-2 to two over Ryan McCreesh in the set they're playing right now. I don't know what set they're on. I would imagine they are on their second sets.
As you see, Efren is breaks again and once again coming up dry. But uh, Thorsten looking to play safe, maybe feather off the uh, inside of that one ball, trying to bring the cue ball behind the three. Let's see what he decides to do. Hit him hard. Gee whiz. You try to get the cue ball behind a five where you're seeing him uh, point this cue stick. But I think he still has Efren uh, in a funky position here. You might see him go rail first. I don't think he has the whole ball. Jacking up. Yeah, he's definitely going rail first. Or now he's playing a Massey around the other side of the three. Nice shot. Oh, after a great shot like that, Efren Reyes is trying to cheat the corner pocket and force follow back out for the three ball. Winds up going right in the drink. And there you have it. Torsten Holman lining up the 3-10 combination. Draws first blood here. Leads in the second set. One to nothing. Austin Holman's been crashing the rack here and make the last time he broke he made or the rack before that he made three balls on the break so maybe he found a sweet spot and let's see if he did well, I guess not it, it appears the uh, one five is on Efren's just got to control his cue ball Gonna play it and spin it back a little bit. Not so hard. You're just gonna enough to get the five ball to the corner. Oh, the cue ball got away and didn't even pocket the five. Austin looking uh, to actually pocket this one ball and the five ball making the corner pocket a little bit bigger but I don't know if he has the uh, enough vision around that four ball to go for the cut he might have to spin this just a little bit here but he's got help with that five ball so he should come out okay. Just 
going to spin it just a little bit. Wow, way off. Didn't come out the way you wanted for sure. Um, somebody in the chat was asking about the shore match. That's correct there in uh, Spanky answering them three to one the last time I checked and I can't see it from here right now. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure. No, three to one was the boosty match. Four to two was the Jason Shore and Ryan McCreesh and uh, Jason Shore was up four and Ryan McCreesh had two and, and that is the second set. And there's Jason Shore off to the right there. All right, cut shot by Efren. Yeah, an unforced error uh, in the last rack following the, uh, the ball. I believe it was the two ball right into uh, the corner pocket with the cue ball. See a lot of people in the chat saying that tossed and fouled. Are you saying that he nudged or just feathered the four ball? I mean, in any case, uh, Efren's right uh, at the table, so it's water under the bridge. And I thought I seen him feather the four ball myself, but you know, I, glancing back and forth through the monitor, I wasn't really sure. And it looks like we have some kind of confirmation. But then again, like Spanky said in the chat, you know, that's water under the bridge and everyone's at the table. I would think uh, Thorsten Holman would be the first one to say that he uh, feathered the four ball. Okay, Efren Reyes holding no punches here. He's going to fire this 10 ball in and tie this match one to one. There you have it. Whether it was a foul or not, and there's a few people saying it was, and it's all over. One to one. Watching Efren Reyes break on this beautiful Simona's cloth. Uh, would like to give a big shout out to Simona's cloth. Uh, one of the sponsors of bringing this free stream to us. And don't forget, folks, Inside Pool is handling the streams for the 10 ball pro event. They're handling the casino billiard tournament. They're handling the trick shots. And they are handling the three cushion tournament going on in another room. using the eight ball as a stopper. 
Now does he play this three ball straight into the corner or does he play the three five combination into the, the side pocket. Played the three five leaving him perfect shot on the three ball. Oh, he nudged the 10. Watch the point of the side pocket. The point of the side pocket got Efren Reyes there. Now faced with the eight footer on the six ball. He doesn't like it. And it's not frozen where he can spin it in. He attempted to do it anyway and wound up coming up with the miss. It's going to cost him here. He has to jack up on the six ball. He can't go forward because he'll run into the eight. So he's going to have to pull the cue ball back. And does it very well. <laughs> Torsten Holman getting very fortunate there. Efren uh, just nudging that 10 ball on his last inning, uh, wound up with that long shot on that six ball and try to spin it in and come up with the miss. Uh, is about to take advantage of that miss now and go ahead in the second set by a score of two to one. Plays it beautiful, three rails around, gets perfect position on the 10 ball. It's where you want to be. And 10 ball down now leads this match. Torsten Holman, two to one in the second set. Those of you that are just joining us, uh, you are watching these two champions, Torsten Holman and Efren Reyes. Uh, they are playing a race to eight. And it's the best out of three races. So whoever gets the two sets first will win the match. And Thorsten Holman is up one set at this point. And we'd like to say thank you for uh, joining us on this live stream and supporting uh, Inside Pool and NYC Grind. That's nycgrind.com and insidepoolmag.com. This uh, event is coming to you because they are co-producing it. Thorsten Holman crashing the rack. And we had the nine balls at cliffhanger just dribbled into the side pocket. So he pockets the nine. And the two ball. So he made two balls on the break.
Thorson misses the one ball. Giving Efren a chance to get back to the table. He doesn't want to spin the cue ball too much running into the 10 ball or trying to even get close to that 10 ball. He wants to play this long so he has a shot on a three or slow speed. I say he goes three cushions or more. Played it out long. Looking for the side pocket. Great shot by Efren playing it long. Perfect position for the four ball. It's just like taking a walk in the park for Efren. Oh, he nudges the five ball. Now he's got problems. I mean, he's got the lower, I mean, the upper left-hand corner here. He's going to have to punch the cue ball off the rail to come back out for the six. Tell us he can go forward. He punches the cue ball out. And he's back in line again. He's going to have to drag the cue ball sharp out of the uh, bottom left hand corner or elect to go long again. Looks like he's just going to draw one rail back up. Yeah, just come out shop. And we have a tie ball game, two to two. Okay, we have confirmation that Jason Shore has won his match.
Just a little update on the Jason Shaw Ryan McCreese match. Uh, the second uh, set, the score was eight to two in favor of Jason Shaw. Thorsten Holman back at the office pocketing balls here in game number five. Um, the six ball looks like it appears from here that it has the corner pocket. Not certain. We'll soon find out with this position. I guess it didn't. He looks like he's going to play it in the other corner. thought it uh, might have went in the uh, upper left hand corner. These players are human, I guess, after all. Efren uh, back up at the table after that six ball miss by uh, Thorsten Holman. Thorsten very not uh, happy at all. He's just uh, sitting there consuming what he just did, and uh, Efren makes this error here. He had to come back uh, further than this because the path of the eight ball to the corner I don't think he has. I mean, he can put distance if he wants to play distance. He, he can leave the eight ball on the short rail and bring the cue ball down here on the other side of the table, laying on the short rail to leave some distance. But with the 10 ball hanging up down there in that corner, you know, he's looking at a uh, Dawson playing a possible billiards. I, I think he's going to play this safe. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Played the bank shot into the 10 ball, pocketing. Nobody in their right mind wanted to play that. <laughs> a nice shot by the magician. He breaks this now and he goes up one game, leads three to two. Nothing dropping. Efren Ray is back up at the table. Folks would like to mention a few of the sponsors. Uh, OBQs, of course. Simonis Cloth. Kamui Tips and Chalk. Inside Pool. NYC Grind. We'd like to thank everybody. And of course, check out Bank Shot Calculator. What a great app that is. As we watch Efren Ray is plan his point of attack in this m game. Ball tucked behind the seven. Nice play. You know, sometimes Efren looks at that shot as he walks away, and if there's uh, any space between the seven, if 
and the cue ball if they're not married. He's not happy with himself. He wants to play that shot to a point of attack where they're married. Now here's a, a picture of Efren standing up like I was telling you when he stands up with his cue stick. He looks like he's leaning against the pole, man. You know, he's just like sitting down having a picnic or just <laughs> relaxing. I'm looking at the chat and I'm uh, watching the chat go by and I'm noticing some talk about it. Efren Reyes. Uh, yeah, he is a great person. If you know him, he's a great person. The only way you wouldn't really like Efren is if you bet against him. Efren is really down to earth. Don't play him in chess either. I just knocked his action. Folks, I got to step away for a split second here, uh, and I'll get right back to you.
Okay, what I miss? Three to three. Just how I figured it. Here's a nice shot. Just float the cue ball up between this 5 7. Efren Frost to get the rake. Too slow. I don't think the six goes into the corner. I think he might have to play it into the side pocket. But if he does, he can still go up and down. Nudges the seven is going to wind up good. As Efren's on the verge of pocketing this 10 ball, we'll make it 4-3 to three in favor of Efren. This is the second set. If you are just joining the stream, you're watching Thorsten Holman and the great Efren Reyes play in a race to eight. It is the best out of three sets. Thorsten Holman is up by one set at this point. And in the second set, which is the one you're watching, Efren leads four to three. And we'd like to thank some of our sponsors, Kamui Tips and Chalk. That's KamuiTips.com. OBQs, OBQs.com. Simona's Cloth, of course. We're always there, backing many of the streamers and supporting many leagues. Bank Shot Calculator. And this production is coming to you live. It's code produced with NYC Grind and InsidePoolMag.com. So shoot them an email. Give them a little bit of a thanks. Let them know. Give them some feedback. And also, if you can, uh, it's not asking too much, but to show some appreciation, hit the share button. It's not going to take you away from the stream at all. It's just going to open another window, and you can share it on your uh, social media. And it's greatly appreciated. Uh, by uh, Inside Pool and NYC Grind and all the sponsors that are involved. We'd like to thank you in advance. Too close for comfort here.
Just looking to play speed, leave the cue ball right in that same position and play the two ball by the six. Oh, he played the ten ball combination and played it well. Torsten Holman with that combination is going to tie this match up at four. Wow, what a great shot. Bravo. Okay, we're tied at four here in this match between two great players, Efren Reyes and Thorsten Holman. And Thorsten Holman is up one set if you're just joining us out there. And it is the best out of three sets. So uh, this is a single elimination and Efren Reyes has to win one to bring this to a hill hill as far as set scores and both players are halfway home
Okay, back once again at you. I want to say thank you to somebody that was in the chat room that mentioned that the 14 and 1 stream was down. Well, we got good news. The 14 and 1 stream is back up. If you want to watch the 14.1 Kamui Challenge uh, with the help of JR and Inside Pool, they are back up and running. So feel free to check them all out. But here at the Pro 10 ball, um, looks like Thorsten Holman is up six to four. Uh, talking about the 14 and one, uh, I was over there uh, last night after the, the 10 ball pro event. Uh, finished their last match and watched Mika run a 139 and I believe Daz they have a different format this year a professional format and I, they got the rules online um, I believe Daz has the high run so far in that division at a 159 so uh, after the pro 10 ball event is finished with their last stream of the night the 14 and 1 keeps going I, I believe they went close to 2 o'clock in the morning last night it was fun to watch but just giving you a little insight Okay, we have Big Dennis in the chat asking who's coming up next. If we do know, I will get the attention of the tournament director. Uh, his ground zero is about five feet away from me when he gets back. I don't know where he is right now. Uh, and I'll try to grab his ear. We'll see who's up next. Efren faced with a long shot on the one ball. He's going to go for it. Oh, goes for the safe. Looked like he was going for the cut into the corner. I'm going to see Thorsten Holman go to the air here. You know, if he plays this good, he could wind up playing safe behind the 10 5 4 with the cue ball uh, if he hits it good, but it, there's also a chance of scratching. I, I like coming off the left side I, uh, of the one ball, uh, staying away from that right-hand corner pocket. And I'm sure he does also. Yeah, just like that. Taking away that scratch. But I believe he left that for a back cut into the side pocket. Oh, anytime, Big Dennis. Uh, any, uh, in the chat, Big Dennis saying thanks. Hey, anytime. You know, that's what we're here for, man, which we try to accommodate. You know, it's only so much we can do, but little things like that, if at all possible, uh, always uh, willing to help out. Okay, Efren with the bridge. Has to spin this to the inside. Keeping the line, getting the angle for the five. He doesn't want to be jacked up over that six. Now he played it right. A little more speed and he would have been jacked up over that six ball. Just draw it straight back, just a few inches. Needs the angle. I 
Uh, those of you that are just joining us would like to say welcome, first of all, and thank you so much for watching the stream. Uh, Efren Reyes and Thorsten Holman in this match, and Efren faced with a do-or-die situation. Uh, this is the second set. They are racing to eight in each set, and it's the best out of three sets, and Thorsten won the first one. So Efren is faced with a do-and-die situation. He has to win this set to force it into a tie-breaking match, a uh, tie-breaking set. And I know all of us would love to see that happen uh, because watching uh, the great magician and uh, Thorsten Holman shoot is a really great event. So we're, we're all hoping for that. And Efren's going to make it a little closer now, bringing his score to a total of five in this race to eight. And Thorsten Holman at six. Okay, guys, you got your earphones on, you got your speakers up loud, you're listening to the stream. The next match at 3.30, after this one here, will be Johnny Archer versus Darren Appleton at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, keep that in mind. 3.30 p.m. Next matchup. So uh, please share that information on uh, social media. And let's get everybody set up to watch a free stream. Thorson looking to play safe. I don't think he's looking to make this ball at all. Played a cue ball behind the three. Wow, he did go to make it. What a shot. Man. He's lucky where the cue ball wound up because it deflected off another ball and wound up getting good on the two. Got very fortunate, but the shot itself was a, a really great cut shot. He had to turn the cue ball loose. Uh, we, I don't think that Alvin has set up the replay feature as of yet, but there will be a time where Inside Pool will upload these to their YouTube channel, the Inside Pool YouTube channel. So uh, keep that in mind if you want to watch these matches later on. They will be uploaded there. You know, he's got the 6-7. Uh, there's a little trouble down here. He's looking at the angle for the five to get back down to the six or, you know, if he nudges this seven ball from the inside, he could create even more of a problem. He's got a lot of things he's thinking about right here because he still has to get back for the four ball. He's looking at this. Wow. He's looking at pinpoint position of playing that six ball in the corner. No way. He might be looking at a position where he might be able to play a safe as he approaches the six ball. But at this point here, uh, he's just road mapping this table out. And the only one that knows exactly what's going to happen is that man shooting right there. Let's see what he plans.
You know, all he really has to do is just make this ball draw back a little bit and he can play that automatic safe, you know. Uh, it looks from, from my monitor, I can't really tell, but it looks like he can push the six behind the seven ball and lock the cue ball up there, keeping everything in close quarters. Oh, what he's looking, he, he's, he's uh, thinking of the bank on the six also. He's, he's weighing out every option. And this is what makes him the player that he is. Taking his time. He plays back. I think he played back for the bank, but wound up getting in this position here. This is such a touchy shot now because of the angle that he created to play the safe behind the seven. I don't think the camera is on because he would have shot it already. He's just gonna, I think he's just gonna elect to push, try to push the six behind the seven and leave the cue ball bite right there by the rail. Slow roll. Oh, he tried the carom. He thought the carom was on. Okay, folks, place your wages, the six ball into the side pocket. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But everyone's going to be aggressive here. The, the shot is on. It's a free bank shot. He can play the cue ball down behind the ten ball just in case he misses it and still have a shot on the seven. He's thinking about dragging the cue ball down. Then he's thinking about just going wide open for the bank. He's got a lot of confidence. But he only missed one bank into the side pocket that I saw in the last set. Shot wide open for the bank and missed it. That's the second bank. Look at a cliffhanger. Don't grab the chalk around the table. Don't tap the table. It'll fall. Well, it looks like uh, Torsten Holman is going to be on the hill here. Um, seven ball hanging up. Should be uh, no issue for him to get back onto the nine. You know, it just goes to show you, um, when you're playing uh, this caliber of player, a mistake should cost you. By all means, it should cost you. You know, you're playing in a race to eight. If there's four mistakes in a race to eight from one player, it's too many. Actually, I think three is too many at this caliber. Seven ball being that close into the hole, you know, and, and anybody that played a, a ball into a hole and played it with spin, how that spin aggressively picks up after touching that first rail, put Thorsten Holman close to that nine ball. Makes the nine, now faced with playing a safe on the, on the ten ball, which would put him on a hill. This is a big swing. I mean, it's not over. I know Thorsten didn't lose this game yet, but... This is such a big game right here. He's 
Forced with playing the safe. Efren tapped the bottom left hand corner with his stick. I think uh, letting Thorsten home when he's playing the bank. And he tried it. Wide open, he went for it. Thorsten Holman says, Thank you. Thanks for missing that. And there you go. Thorsten Holman to the hill first. Could close out and put Efren and Reyes right out of the tournament. I would like to mention uh, the sponsors once again, Kamui Tips and Chalk, Simona's Cloth, OBQs, Make sure to check out the bank shot calculator. And, uh oh. I hope I'm still on the air, folks. Something happened here. Am I still on, guys? Let me know. Uh, in this production, uh, is co-produced. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Uh, some window opened up on the one of the monitors. Um, this is a co-production with uh, NYC Grind and InsidePoolMag.com. So it's NYCGrind.com and InsidePoolMag.com. So make sure to say thanks to those guys when you see them, or shoot them an email. And don't forget, please, very important when streams are going, very important. Share all this information. Let everybody know. I'm sorry I had to mute the headset. Sonny Chow from the Three Cushion Billiard Tournament just uh, paid a visit to say hello. That's another stream that uh, Inside Pool is handling. Uh, that you can go to the InsidePool.tv page and you'll see links for either the Three Cushion or 14 and 1 or the 10 Ball or the Casino, casino uh, Billiards Tournament. You'll see all four links right there on the homepage. You can click any one you want, or it might be two and two. You might see just two links and giving you the information for both streams, two streams on each link. And uh, when you do open it up, uh, you'll have the option of playing both streams or just one, and you'll have a longer chat, giving you a chance to uh, read the chat if, you, if you're viewing the smaller chat. All right, here we go. Back to the action. Thorsten Holman on the hill, playing safe behind the five ball. And th this amazes me. I've seen so many uh, safes effort and get out of. And uh, it's always a pleasure to watch the way he kicks the ball. Plays a strong, strong three cushion billiard game, too. Uh, you can see uh, YouTubes of him when he played uh, Blumdahl. Uh, not only in the recent one, but in the, in the older tapes. Efren played the game strong. Nevertheless, he misses the uh, hit on the one ball, giving Torsten the uh, ball in hand. You know, ball in hand on the one ball is all okay. But uh, we're looking at, it looks like the 
two seven are tied up down there on the uh, longer rail, and that's what Thorsten is looking at. So instead of pocketing the one ball, what's the sense of it? Play safe. And the way he's trying to play safe at that point where you just saw him was he was going to try to marry the cue ball up on the three. Instead, he's going to work the cue ball down the way he's looking at it now and then play safe on the two. Or he might elect to run into him. Let's see what Dawson has in mind. Looks like he's going for the breakup. He nudged him. See now, he's probably saying to himself right now, I should have just played the safe and married the cue ball to the three. But, you know, it's too late for that. You know, he weighed his options out and figured that this would be his best bet. And, you know, with, like I, I can't emphasize it enough. With the straight pool knowledge that Dawson Holman has, it was... A, it was worth it to take the shot. It's not like he hasn't been in that position to break balls up before in straight pull or nine ball or ten or any of the games. So it was worth the effort. Just uh, he should have went into it, I believe, a little bit harder and uh, a little more in the face. But water under the bridge. He's going to probably, if he can see enough of this two ball, probably play like a, a backward Z shot. If he can play a backward Z shot and try to get the cue ball behind the three ball or somewhere up in this area at your lower part of your monitor. Um, oh, look at this. Feathered it. Nice shot. See, they see things that I can't see from the vantage point. Uh, Alvin Nelson is telling me that we will have three to four cameras uh, up and running shortly. And uh, I guess we all can't wait. And we'll be able to switch around. Uh, the problem is the room is packed and he's uh, working like a cobra snake under the bleaches and between people. So he's trying. Uh, and I think from this vantage point, uh, we got to appreciate what we got right now. Okay, one rail kick into the two ball. Missed it. Second safe that Efren got into. I believe he is on two now because he did miss the one ball. So Efren is on two. The only issue here with this set, I mean with this game right here, is the eight ball. If the eight ball has a pocket into the, you know, like the side pocket or something, um, it looks like uh, Thorsten will take this match. And don't forget, if you're just joining us, the next matchup at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be Johnny the Scorpion Archer and Darren the Dynamite Appleton coming up at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We match right after this one. Just pocket the three ball. And he should be off to the races. This is a little funny here. Unless he plans on bumping into the 10 ball to break open the 8 10, and he'll still have a shot on the 5. I thought he would be, want to be a little straighter on this 4 ball so he can get down lower on the 5 and then play the 6. But. I don't know what he has in mind. He doesn't want to hit it with... If he's going for the, the nudge, to nudge the 10 ball away from the 8, he doesn't want to hit it with any kind of really that hard because he could, could create more problems. He just wants to nudge it, but you got to be careful. You don't get trapped up in that between those two.
Let's see what he has in mind here. He's going for the nudge, and he got caught up behind the 10 ball. That's what it appears to be right now. He's not going to like it. He doesn't have to like this at all. He wa right where he pointed his stick, he wanted to nudge the 10 ball, not the 8 ball. So in instead of just running this out and, and putting this match at an end, now he's, I don't know what he's going to do. The only thing I see he can do here is possibly feather this five ball on the left side, escaping the scratch, and bringing the cue ball back up on a sharp angle, you know, somewhere by the nine, you know, going three rails. I don't know if, if he can feather that side of the five ball. If he can't and he's got three quarters of the ball, I'd rather spin it with good speed and jam the cue ball right where the five lies and bring the five up to the other side. I don't know what he's going to do here. Now, if he can, if he can stop the cue ball right there, the, the eight's an automatic blocker if he plays the five with good speed. And Efren is on two, mind you, and as he comes back in, oh, he's got to hit it with more speed than that. See, if he would have hit it with more speed, he would have had a block. And now, mind you, Efren's on two here. And Thorsten Holman has just uh, made Efren aware of that. Not that he had to. <laughs> I'm sure Efren knew it, but that is the ruling. So it is now official that uh, Thorsten let Efren know that he is on two. Short rail to short rail, using the 9, 10 as blockers. I think he hit it pretty good. You know, to be in this tough situation, now keep in mind, you know, Thorsten Holman could have been out. You know, he tried to nudge that eight, not, uh, the 8 and the 10 ball, and he got on the wrong side of it. He didn't hit the 10 ball. And this is where it's brought him now. You know, he went from a run out to this, being on the hill. And, uh, you know, he, that, that's, that's got to be clicking in his mind right now. I could have been out of here, and now I'm playing the great effort, Reyes, and he's playing safe with me and, and I'll tell you what I don't think there's anybody in the world that wants to get into a safety battle with Efren Reyes you know if uh if, if Thorsten doesn't come up with a, a good enough safe, this very well could cost him this set. Uh, bringing this, and then it would bring it into a tie-breaking set. So he's got to play the safe right, and I don't think he's done it. I, uh, he just gave Efren a chance to get back. Four rails back for the sixth ball. If he can escape the nine. I don't think you want to be playing this with inside English trying to hold the cue ball. I say you go four rails back for the six. Between the six eight. Just like that. That's what he was playing. But he didn't pocket the five. Now. Now Thorsten Holman. Second breath. He looks up at the sky and he says wow. You don't get many opportunities like this playing the great Reyes. So he's got to put Reyes out of his misery here.
Got a little funny. Dawson Holman making this interesting for the the fans here. He's got really he got funny on this nine ball. I mean, he's on the 50 yard line. Do you, do you back cut it? Do you, do you, you know? It's not over yet. Now he back cuts this. It's a real thin back cut as the fans applaud for a match that must have just finished. Um, he's got to turn the cue ball loose. He's got to watch the speed that he doesn't get out of position for the 10 if he pockets it. Oh, he played it perfect. Perfect. Very nice shot. This should put Efren and Reyes out of the tournament and move Thorsten Holman up the ladder. There you have it, Boston Holman. Call him the Terminator. Call him the Hitman. Call him Toasty. Just toasted up from Reyes due to some forced errors, unforced errors by Efren. Great match, folks. The next one coming up: Johnny Archer, Darren Appleton, right here live inside Pool TV. Stand by. We'll be right back at you guys. <laughs>